Hi everyone, welcome to another video with me, Fatima, and I hope you are doing well. I'm so sorry because uh, it's such a long time I couldn't post videos. You know, it's because I'm very busy with university exams and things like that. But today I decided to show you something very different. It's not a video from my trip, but it's a video or may, let's say a mini vlog on um, the place I live or I stay in Milan. You know, it's it has been two years. I'm living in Milan, but I've never shown you uh, uh, the place I stay. I've posted two videos about Milan, you know, walking tours. Uh, you can go and watch them. Uh, but today let's explore, you know, something else. I will give you a tour in my room and then the kitchen, you know, the balcony, but also a bit around the residence. And uh, I will also take you on the campus of the university I, I study. I'm sure you will love it if you have seen or not seen it before. So I think let's don't wait and go to explore together. So yes, welcome to my room um okay actually this is not only my room because um i'm sharing it with a roommate but this part is mine okay it's a bit of a mess but don't worry that's the view like to the outside you can see i love it you know there and then my bed there are my bags on that but okay it's fine <laughs> And then I love this part of my room because, um, you know, I love books and this is the only part I just can relax, you know, read, write, listen to music, watch a movie or whatever I want to do. And I love it. So let me show what do I have. So that part is mostly, you know, um, books, you know, uh, not books I've used. This part is books, mostly Italians. So trying to work to, you know, to uh, improve my Italian as much as I can. And these are the books I read. My favorite book there is, uh, you know, the Quran. And also um, there is the, um, this book called Alchemist. I loved it. But then here is the part of souvenirs. You know, when I've been on a trip, I, I've collected or a friend has given to me. And then my favorite ones is this one and this from Verona and then I love this flower so I love this one this is you know um, from Mercury region uh, there is a famous word uh, called Vergara Vergara is uh, you know a lady who just managed the household and is in charge of you know managing the whole household and she's so powerful in the family <laughs> And then um, there are some flowers that is from Tajikistan a friend has given to me. And then this was a birthday, a birthday gift and that one I bought it myself, uh, which is the camera, the globe and then, uh, you know, my coins pocket and that's like a bag. And there's my camera, this was, and this were gifts from Japan and this is, this was gift from a friend and inside there are my jewelries. you can understand from this. And then um, my pens, you know, um, my tablet and <clears throat> this is a bottle of um, a water bottle from University of Mannheim, you know, Germany, because I'm currently I, I'm on an exchange, but I came back here for some reasons and then I will go back. So that's why I decided um, to use the opportunity to create this video and um, you know, uh, then make also the same vlog from Germany and um, to show you the differences. So this is the bathroom. Uh, yeah. And that's where we take shower. And I love how Italian, you know, bathrooms are very different because they have this Buddha, which uh, they are, I mean, there's not such a thing in other European countries. And uh, yeah, that's it. I love my room and it's a bit like, you know, uh, you know I don't know if you watched the, this uh, movie called Movie or I don't know series, Wednesday, one part is dark, one part is light. But 
I love this because in case we want to, you know, have our privacy so we can um, can pull the curtain and I'm in that side. Um, I'm in that side and then there's my roommate in this side. So yeah, it's cute. It has shelves and these are the two, um, you know, cupboards for our clothes and everything. So prefer not to show inside because I don't like it. And then yeah we are done with the uh, with the tour in the room so i love this chair too because I, I sit here and uh, yep oh i didn't show you this part this part is mostly books from you know my studies at the university but um this was a gift from a friend because i started learning german too and then yep so let me know if you have any question in the comments then i will answer it yes welcome to our kitchen well it's not very clean because you know we share it uh we are like nearly 12 students who are sharing this kitchen and you know sometimes okay it's like student life so this is the part we kind of living room um just connected with the kitchen you know um our sofa and then there is um that lovely chair and there is our tv you know the balcony which i show you more i love the view here and then um this is the kitchen which has two parts in case we want to you know um eat dinner here uh this is one part of the kitchen which we like uh, somehow six or five people are sharing it not very clean but i'm sorry that is our study area which is full of pots it's funny <laughs> but you know i think we ha we just lack shelf to put our pots or maybe um there are a lot of exchange students who are coming and going so um everyone who leave they uh, leave their resident they also you know leave some of their pots so we never use that that area for study but this is our dining table um you know it's big i just tried to clean it a bit so that <laughs> okay i look as a good student okay but uh usually um the residents have cleaners who come here and clean that and that area is also um you know uh, is used for uh, for cooking and uh, six or five other people are sharing that and then we have, you know, a lot of lamps, which is turned on, you know, and then um, what else? Yeah, we have the uh, microwave, but we don't have an, an oven and those are all we have, but uh, like we have a washing machine. Uh, you, you you see that? We, we don't have one, we have two. There is one on the other side and the microwave. There's two fridge, one there and one here um let's see what's inside well not more not much because um everybody eats in the canteen so yeah that's our board of the rules you know and um yeah this is in case we want to see it i think there is not much left but i especially love this area sometimes i come to watch tv here and if in case i want to study there are a lot of study rooms downstairs which i'm going to show i study there so i really don't use the kitchen a lot for studies but even if i want to do that i use sometimes the dining table and i love that so um let me tell you something these are two cute flowers that's not mine i don't know the green one but this one uh, the dry flowers are mine i love them i didn't show them once they were dry because that was from a very special person to me so i just wanted to keep it with myself and i have it then uh, yeah i think that's it and hope hope just you like it let's have you know a complete view from here okay so yes this is our kitchen yep. so here you can see the terrace sorry today was rainy so there is still like water on the chair but anyway it's very beautiful and most of the times i come to see here because it's very relaxing especially if it's a sunny beautiful day like today i come here and i mean i can take some like a beach but 
most beautiful thing is the view look at there look at there oh my god you know i don't like this building because it's blocking the view but anyway this side and that side of the building is pretty much beautiful and look at the sun wow sometimes i come here to watch the sunset and uh it's beautiful so let's have a look here you can see the statue you can see the statue of madonna on the top of duomo which is very very beautiful uh later in the evening because the light turns on when it's dark and it's very golden so unique in the city and you can see it and that building has also a very unique structure generally the, the view is beautiful down there is the street and this part is also very beautiful you know there's some old buildings there uh, old houses which i like it gives me a sense of you know being in history modernity so it's like a blend and um uh, the sun oh my god is amazing and today is also an amazing day in in milano so yeah this was a tour to the terrace so this is one of the study rooms there are quite a lot of study rooms there is um downstairs i mean um minus one and there is many on the other side it's quite big i don't study usually on the other side because i live here so it's it's closer to me and I usually come here or there is another one that I would love to show you it's on the hallway it's a bit crowded this one it's, but I love it because um, it's so comfortable to sit there you know people going coming even though uh, some people may be distracted but I won't because I, I, I don't care I don't mind studying in an area that's a bit you know um, crowded but it's beautiful and so it's comfortable for your back because um, uh, the sitting the, um, chairs are comfortable and yeah the view to the yard from here is also beautiful uh, the backyard has you know a volleyball place and so yep we're going to go to the lobby this part is like yeah, there's the lobby where you can sit, also it's a study place, but also if you want to chit chat with your friends and their books, this part is also like a dining table, but... So now let's go to see what do we have in minus one. There's game area, gym, cinema, laundry, I mean everything is for free, very mobilized. So this area is like a lobby where you can sit with friends, you know, talk, relax, study, or even, you know, um, watch television or, you know, play games and throw a party. So you can basically do anything. But also, um, I love this area because it's so, I mean, good, it's big. And uh, there is also a cinema room, you know, but it's closed. Uh, I didn't ask. And then there's the game area where you can play snookers and things like that. Uh, you can have fun, you can play ping pong. And there's also the gym. Uh, I didn't go to the yoga studio because there are people practicing, exercising there. And this is how the outside look like. There is Panino Giusto, which is... There's also a cafe there if you want to go to study, but outside is quite beautiful. And then we are going to see the campus. This is the area where I always walk to go to the university. Uh, there is a small little beautiful park here. Um, we usually come to have lunch here um, and take some sun and, you know, relax. Um, yep. And this is how one part of the campus like look like. Bocconi is quite big and there is also you know the new building I'm going to show you but this is the um, old area that that is a student resident and uh, there is a church here can you believe it if you want to um, pray there is also an area where you know other religion uh, can go and pray and there is the canteen um, there's two canteen but I love this one so I come to lunchtime and this is what I have for lunch, pasta, and yep, uh, yep, this is how it looks like, and there are quite many people, so, uh, 
and this is the hallway basically yeah there is kind of an exhibition but the pictures are always there and sometimes they get changed and this is how the classroom look like let me show you a very interesting thing here you know you cannot cross from the middle you see how people go from around well basically at Bocconi that is something that you don't go otherwise you won't graduate and this is the map of the university let's go to see basically the library first and then this building well this is the library it's quite big there is upstairs i mean the second floor and the the third floor but just let's see this part library is one of my favorite place says in the world and I love it it's so relaxing okay I think let's go to the other building so we walk this way and yep we are here this is the new building a Japanese style architecture and it's so beautiful you say SDA Pocconi I don't know workshops anything which has with higher education let me stand here I can read it is the Bocconi and then the campus is so beautiful the architecture is also so unique like one of a kind in Milan and uh, yeah the flowers are so beautiful out there okay let's go and see a bit around like it has there's this sports center here there is a you know there is a also a student resident here and the conference room you know there is um also a canteen here i've never come here because i i don't know for any reason but i usually come here for swimming classes it also has a swimming big big swimming pool that i love it it's like one of my favorite things at Bocconi. <laughs> So yeah, that was the compass, but when I feel lonely, my favorite place is Tuomo di Milano, I usually come here. Of course, Milan has a lot of other places too, but this is my favorite and um, I cannot show you in this video. Or I usually go out with friends and here we went in an Afghan restaurant with my best okay. friend. Hello! <laughs> Hi! We are in this amazing place, Afghan restaurant. Yes. Look, the pillows. Yeah, there is. You know that's the set carpet woman doing in Afghanistan? That's great. We are treated like princess in her. Okay, so today we are gonna try first green tea. With a bit of Afghan aperitivo, okay. a date, she brought a daftery, yeah, chocolate, uh, yeah, and uh, sweets. sweets, I don't know, and then uh, sweets from here, yeah, from home, okay, let's try this one, yes. I never tried it, cheers, cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. good, I like them, yeah. Are they real? As you as you eat them in a Afghanistan? Okay. It's this one is very good, but mm. maybe you can find better than this in Afghanistan mm. too. Approved. <laughs> <laughs> the next episode. Bye. Tashakur. Hi bye. Tashakur Khudavis. Tashakur Khudavis. Khudavis.